And now, 921 WVTK presents Addison and Essex County, Your Voice with KG. And welcome to Your Voice on 921 WVTK and 921 WVTK.com. And joining me this afternoon is Blanca Jenny, owner of Middlebury Suites on Ossie Road in East Middlebury. Blanca, good afternoon. How are you? Good. How about yourself? Great. Uh, I understand that you started something pretty unique, uh, getting kids to read books. Now, what drove you to come up with that concept? Well, I basically wanted to come up with something to give back to the community. And I know how important it is to read. I read to my kids, try to read to them every night. And um, so many kids just don't read enough in the summertime. So I thought I would create this incentive. And I figured, what better way than with candy? Right. And you brought your daughter with you, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. How are you? Hi. How old are you? Six. You're six? Wow. You're getting up there. You're, gonna, you're almost what? You're almost, at, almost half as tall as mommy. Yeah, she is. Unbelievable. <laughs> they, they, grow, they grow fast. They do. Okay, Blanca, tell us how the program works. Well, basically, um, the kids can go online and register. Um, what they do, it's not really registering. They just print a form out online, or they can go to any of our sponsors, which we'll talk about later, and pick mm-hmm. up a form or come to our store. Um, they basically need to read uh, six to eight books during the summertime. Um, it's really up to their parents if they need to read six or eight. They'll know by their reading level. We require them to read um, books at their uh, grade level, basically. Mm -hmm. And once they do that, fill out the form, they come in, and they can turn it in for a quarter pound of free candy or an ice cream cone from Middlebury Suites. So they'll come into the store. And we'll also give them a $5 gift certificate from Green Peppers. That's quite a bit of reading, uh, five or six books. Yeah, yeah. It is. It, is. it used to be four last year, but we had so many kids complete it so quickly. We wanted to challenge them a little bit more this mm-hmm. year, so we raised it to six to eight. Good, because, you know, during the summer, you know, children, they want to go out and do this and that and play. Right. And, and right. you know, reading, I uh, was for, for school, but uh, it's, it's great that you're doing that. And how long uh, does it take them to complete a book, and is there any special book they read or... Basically, they they don't have to read any certain types of books, um, and it will vary on how long it'll take depending on your child's skill and how much they love to read. Because some kids love to read, and they'll do that in a week or less, and there's others that don't like to read as much. It may take longer, which is okay. They have the whole summer. But really, it's just based on their skill level, and we rely on the parents you know it's kind of an honor system that they're making sure their kids are reading at their own level right and uh, you mentioned earlier about uh, a grand prize what is the grand prize well basically um once the kids read give us the form we put their names in for an end of summer drawing and it's basically um a bunch of prizes we got from different sponsors uh local businesses in the area and one child will win all the prizes and usually it's valued at over five hundred dollars in prizes wow wow that is a fantastic program, and it's worth the kids getting into it and uh, reading, you know, five or six books. Right, yeah, for sure. I mean, if I was a kid, I'd, I, would, I, hope, I wish I could do it, actually. I mean, hey, if I could get some free candy for reading. <laughs> I wish they had this when I was a kid. <laughs> and just so you know, too, before I forget, it is uh, good for um, kids in grades kindergarten through eighth grade. All righty. Yeah. And I, I looked at your website, and what is your website? It is a www.middlebury.suites.com. And a lot of folks here, including our very own Bruce Zeman, he loves one of the candies you have, bottle caps. He loves those bottle caps. I heard you mention it when you came in the door, and you know something? That's all I hear from him. <laughs> bottle caps. KG, are you going on Middlebury Suites? Pick me up. Give me some bottle caps. I need bottle caps. <laughs> bottle caps. Bottle caps. But uh, you have some really great uh, candy that... Uh, uh, gee, you know, you know, like uh, the Mary Janes, Squirrel Nut Zippers, Ginger Balls, Blow Pops. Um, oh, yeah. The Wax Bottles. We had yeah, those when we were yeah. kids. Uh, Lappy Taffy uh, and uh, uh, Bruce's Bottle Caps. We'll have to get him some of those. Um, uh, do you have fizzies? We actually now just got fizzies in. It's funny that you asked because I literally wow. got those in a couple weeks ago. Those are great. Remember when I was a little kid, we'd get a glass of water yeah. and take one of those and it was like, you know, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Right, oh, right. Oh, what a joy this is. Yeah. <laughs> It was really good. And um, also, um, uh, you're now making milkshakes. I am. I'm actually making old-fashioned malted milkshakes with malt. You can get them without malt if you prefer it. But, boy, does it have a wonderful flavor, especially if you get our chocolate malt shake. It's like having a mm-hmm. chocolate malt ball in a, in a drink. It's just awesome. And we've been getting a great response. We're also doing old-fashioned root beer floats now as well. And you can wow. also get an orange float or a cork Coke float. And, you know, these things are kind of hard to find now these days. That is nice. That is nice. Matter yeah. of fact, uh, 
I'm thinking about a day like today where it's going to be really warm out as, uh, you know, like, you know, summer is. Uh, a great day to maybe take a swing down there this afternoon and pick up a few shakes for the folks here. That would be great. I'll do that. Again, uh, Blanca Jenny and her daughter Morgan. Morgan, could you say goodbye? Hi. Hi. What a sweetheart she is. Blanca Jenny, owner of Middlebury Suites on Aussie Road in East Middlebury. And uh, thank you for joining us on Your Voice. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Addison and Essex County, Your Voice with KG is produced for WVTK by Ken Gilbert and serves as a connection to your hometown. If you're a local nonprofit organization, civic group, school, or are involved in the local vibrant arts and entertainment scene and want to spread the word about your organization or special event, then visit 921WVTK.com. Keyword voice.